What up, guys? <clears throat> Back again with another video today. Get my mic a little closer because a few people have been commenting on some world volume. So, guys, uh, today we have ourselves the Tucson. This is a Tucson TS129. Um, nowhere on the box labels that. I'm hoping I have the right model. I uh, ordered this through um, White Mountain Knives. Uh, it was on my watch list and it a uh, wish list, and it came back in stock, and I purchased it right away. Uh, this TS129 you can actually buy on um, eBay also. They normally have it on there. I purchased the M390 version, so let's hope this is the correct one because nothing on the box here tells you anything. So let's hope so. So it's a uh, half carbon fiber and half titanium. And this will be my second Tucson. Uh, my first one came heavily oiled just like this one actually, so that's good to know. And uh, let me go ahead and wipe down a little bit and uh, we'll start. So this is a T Tucson 129 carbon fiber in the M390. It can be a front flipper or a thumb flip or you can do this body flip. Uh, I don't know how well I'll go doing that just because uh just trying to take one here. Wow, that blade is pretty close to the end right there. I think you should be okay though. Yeah, you see right there? That's the blade right there. Uh, pushing my finger pretty deep down with the meaty part, and yeah, I guess it's okay. I guess if you slide, like, I don't know, it should be okay. If you're a kid, you probably can get your finger caught in there, but looks okay so far. So, this is the 129. Uh, on eBay right now, um, as I'm doing this video, I have the uh, a monitor next to me. On eBay, this knife is running for $120, current bidding, 29 bids. And it has one day and 22 hours left. And that's from China, guys. That's from Asia. And that's the M390 version. Same exact knife. And there's another one up there right now with three days left. And it's at $102. Uh, this on White Mountain Knives was running for $129. And they do have it at some other sites too, which pretty much are at the same, uh, same cost. Or same... Wow, this is stiff. Oh, shit, it's not that bad. Huh, okay, maybe I'll play with a little more. Yep, that's M390 right there, guys. I just wanted to check it out. It's a pretty big blade. Um, I'll compare it to my other uh, Tucson blade. My Tucson knife is actually a uh, TS-230. So here go the titanium. And... Uh, Okay, opens nicely. Uh, a little stiff for me right now. Maybe I'm just not used to it. It's like any other front flipper. You gotta get used to flipping it. Um, there it goes. Yeah, I do have a uh, another front flipper. It's the um, the Kaiser uh, Feist by Justin Lindquist. I actually took that one apart, so. Um, I will not be able to show you guys a comparison for my front flipper, so I'll just be showing you guys my, what is it, it's going to be my TS-230. Wow, this guy is like super stiff. Huh. Okay, I guess I gotta play with it a little more. Any front flipper, I guess, uh, you gotta get used to. It took me a while to get used to the Feist. And this is a pretty big knife, normally my blades aren't that big, they're normally a little smaller. I guess what it is is uh, I'm using my fingers and I'm pushing against the frame, so it's kind of keeping the tension a little tighter. So if I keep it here, I might be able to open a little better. No, still, weird, weird. it's weird in my hand. I'm just not used to it right now. There it goes. M390, guys. And let's go through the dimensions right now. So um, front carbon fiber, back's titanium. And the, the cool thing about the titanium is um, they have these little waves here, if you're into that. 
Um, I'm, I'm a fan of the flush titanium, just because you could sand it down and try doing some work to it. But you do see how they put work into this um, pocket clip, um, how they have the pivot screw. And uh, yeah, overall, pretty cool. Uh, big uh, lanyard holder here for your back. The blade, I think it's a sheep's, a sheep's foot style blade. And uh, it's pretty light. I want to say it's about 3.3 or something like that, it feels like. And we'll go from there. We'll go from measuring it shortly. So um, overall length here, the guy is 8 inches. That's a big guy. And the blade length is 3 and a, three and a half about. And then cutting edge is about a little bit under 3.5. And, and the handle is going to be 4.5. So, uh, it's not a deep carry pocket clip, but it's pretty close to it. Um, you can see there. Titanium. I'm probably going to end up maybe doing some work to this. We'll see. And uh, let me take out my other uh, Tucson. So, this is my uh, Tucson 230. I uh, really like this guy. One of my favorites. I actually bought this one through eBay. Um, it took a long time to get just because uh, they ended up not shipping them, I guess. And I finally ended up getting another order. <laughs> Not another order, but he ended up shipping it again, and it took like a month. But uh, I got this through White Mountain Knives. They shipped it out really, really fast. I think it took me maybe three or four business days, and I had it already. If you were to buy it on eBay, it's going to come from Asia, and I think it would have took damn near a month. So, yeah. But overall, right now, it's pretty. It's a pretty nice knife. Uh, Weight-wise, like, they feel... These two feel the same to me, honestly, right now. Um... If not, this feels lighter, so look at the size difference there, guys. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you um, the weight right now. And so my Amazon scale. So we'll start with this guy, the um, 230. 4.3 ounces. Okay, I, this is probably going to be like 3.8 then, I'm guessing. And then this guy is 4 ounces. Okay. It is a little lighter, but not that much lighter, I guess. And back to what I was saying was, um, I might have lost you guys there for a bit. My phone might have froze during the video, so it will be a add-on. So, um, yeah, what I was saying was my meaty part of my finger kind of touches the blade right there. So it might not be a good thing for some people who have safety concerns with that, if you're not careful. Uh, I do see that as a maybe a little con versus having this knife. Uh, people out there who have had this um, really like this blade, so I want to give it a try. And let me do a cut test for you guys and see how that goes. So my handy dandy pepper that I always use to cut. And well, the sorry there guys, I lost you guys again. Um, it's a little hot where I'm at right now, so my phone uh, overheats a little bit. So during the cut, uh, I guess I lost the video and I didn't know. So we're gonna go back to the cut again. Is really sharp. That's that's just what you gotta say. It can cut here, like for sure. Like this, I'm barely even. I'm barely even pushing right now, and it's doing that. So it's pretty good. And again, um, what I'm gonna show you now is I'm just gonna put it up to, to um, some other size blades, and let you guys see what you think about it and the price range, I guess. So um, this is the Praxis Xavivi. It's about seventy bucks, I think. This is a ABKT Shadow Hunter, I believe. Um, American Buffalo. And this is a Microtech Stitch. So size-wise, comparison-wise, these are some big blades. Um, they're all about eight inches plus. This guy runs about 30 bucks, about 70 or 80, uh, 129, uh, about 400 bucks or 380. And just that price range ballpark, uh, this is uh, 204P. Uh, which is equivalent to the M390. Uh, this is again M390, D2, and Damascus. And I think um, this is 440 Damascus. I forget how many layers they use, but I think it's 440. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, that's just from what Civivi posts, puts online, I guess, or posts online. And if anybody else is interested in a bigger blade, I guess you can also take a peek at a... Um, this is a uh, Protec Strider. Not sure. Yeah, Project Shredder um, collaboration, I guess. 
and this is the operator one where um, it's all sterile with the tritanium button. So that's how you guys have. Uh, this runs about 200 bucks, I think. I forget how much I paid for. I got that through PVK Vegas, um, white white um, white mountain knives, and this was through Blade HQ. But uh, other places carry this too. So I hope what you uh, you guys like what you see here. Go ahead and give me a like and subscribe if you do. And if you have any questions, just feel free to leave it at the bottom. And uh, my Instagram will be on the bottom in the comments. And um, I hope you guys like this. And uh, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Later, guys. Stay sharp.